What's cooking guys and welcome to my channel. First of all, Eid Mubarak to anybody celebrating. Have a safe, blessed and wonderful time with your friends and family. I'm sure this Eid will be better than the one from 2020 where COVID pandemic was still very, very new. Nobody knew how to deal with it. Nobody knew where to go if we should be spending time with family, if we should be gathering. So this year we should really just count our blessings and be grateful that we are able to get back to somewhat of a normalization for Eid especially. So Eid Mubarak to anybody celebrating. If you are someone who doesn't know much about Eid and would like to know, I'll leave some information down below in the description box for you so you could read up on it. If not, then it's okay. You can just continue watching the video. So for Eid today, I went to my mom's house because she said she was cooking and who doesn't want to eat mom's food? Mom's food is the best, right? So yeah, I would not have missed out on that. She made some chana masala and like this beautiful clay pot that I'm going to show you in a second. She also made some oven baked chicken tikka which was so delicious and like fall off the bone. And then she also made this flavorful spicy mutton biryani. Mutton is somewhat similar to goat. Goat is more gamey in my opinion. I think mutton is a much lighter taste and it's a much leaner meat too in my opinion. And then she of course made my favorite dessert which is ras malai. Her ras malai is like one of the best. It brought back childhood memories when I tasted her ras malai. It was just so pillowy and creamy and milky. It was just so perfect. And if you don't know what ras malai is, it's those small milk and cream balls that are cooked, slow cooked in milk that is flavored with cardamom and saffron. It was so amazing. I just can't say enough good things about it. So stay tuned for all of that. I'm also going to show you what I was wearing because I was wearing more traditional clothing and then I came home and I changed. So I just want to show you all of that. I want to show you my whole Eid day. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and also make sure to subscribe before we start. And now let's get into the video. So guys, this is what I'm going to be wearing once I get to my mom's house. I'm going to change into this. This is the traditional clothing for women in Pakistan. It's called a shalwar kameez. The shalwar part is the pants and the kameez is this top part that I'm showing you right now. This one is like a chiffon material, so it's kind of see-through. It does have a lining underneath made with this little fabric here, same color as this part, the outer part, and then it has this beautiful embroidery. You can see the white patterns, and it's really, really pretty. Most times on Eid, you will get an even fancier uh, shalwar kameez, but this is pretty nice for me. It's simple, but it has beautiful, intricate details just the way I like it. So I really, really like this. I'll change into this once I get to my mom's house, so you'll see me in the whole traditional outfit. <music> So guys, this is my whole outfit. It is a little bit loose, I think, but it still looks really nice. You can see the blue detail at the arms and even at the ends here. And then these are the pants, which are called shalwar. And then this, as I said, is the kameez. And then you just wear this thing over. And then I'm just wearing some matching earrings to go with the white. In the outfit, I did my makeup and everything, so this is my Eid outfit that I just wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what you guys are going to be wearing if you are celebrating Eid, but this is my little outfit. So I decided to do a voiceover because there was some noise in the background. So here is the chana masala my mom made in this beautiful clay pot. These were so good and melt in the mouth soft. Then there's this chicken tikka she made. Look at the color, you guys. How incredible does this look? It was still cooking in the oven when I took this shot. She marinated it for two days and baked it in the oven for an hour and a half. And once she took it out of the oven, the whiff of those spices filled the room with so much warmth. This was literally falling off the bone as soon as you touched it. And she also made a fresh mint and yogurt sauce to go with it. And the fresh mint came from her backyard. Then we had this main dish, which is her mutton biryani. Now biryani is not an easy dish to make. It really takes skills to master it. I have made it a few times, but it never looks like this. Hers is one of the best I've ever had. 
Each rice grain is separate as you can see and the way she is lifting the rice from the bottom is so that she can mix the meat, the potatoes and all the spices throughout. This classic biryani is a must on Eid. Eid is just not complete without it. Then we have my favorite part, which is Ras Malai, the dessert. And oh my god, guys, I can't tell you how good this tasted. It tasted like my childhood Eid days. The Ras Malai balls were like pillows, and they were slow cooked in that saffron and cardamom milk. And then my mom cooled it overnight, so it literally tasted like ice cream. I've got to make her recipe for my channel too, so you all can try it. <laughs> And this was our little spread. Not a ton of food, but just enough for everyone to eat and enjoy. I was so full after eating this meal and the dessert that my belly was about to bust. But I thoroughly enjoyed this meal thanks to my mom. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care of yourselves. And happy Eid to anybody celebrating.